What's good, Joshua Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out CM Punk reveals his all-time best matches on the No Contest Wrestling Podcast. Now it's gonna be very interesting to see what I guess what CM Punk's his favorite matches he's had over his career. You know, the matches that he looked back on and like, man, we put on a good show. I'm, I'm very interested to see which matches are his favorite ones. Cause of course, as fans, we have our favorites from uh, certain wrestlers and sometimes our favorites aren't their favorites sometimes they feel like the matches that they had that our fan favorites they're not that good in their personal opinion so it's kind of different how a wrestler's opinion on their matches can differ from the fans so we're gonna check this out should be a good one let's get right into it man cm punk i just want to let you know something you are the very first inductee into the no contest wrestling podcast hall of fame oh wow so absolutely just, let's say that uh, guys keep so, it down so i gotta ask you this <laughs> as our first inductee into the hall of fame congratulations thank by the way so appreciate, appreciate you appreciate, appreciate you. you thank you very much <laughs> there are going to be three cm punk matches they're going to play in the loop oh man. next to the bust yep it's one of these in the hall <laughs> of the no contest wrestling podcast just hall of three fame. three i would make it easy for you Okay. What three matches in your career do you put on that loop? So they're my matches. They're yeah. your matches, yes. Okay. Next to your bust. This is the CM Punk wing. I think it's easy to pick number one, um, and it's me and John Cena uh, from Houston oh. leading up to WrestleMania. It was on Monday uh, Night Raw. I think I know what uh, I know which one he's talking about. Wow, he chose that one. My still one of my favorite ones from him is obviously John Cena, CM Punk, Money in the Bank 2011. Fucking love that match. One of my favorite matches from him. One of my favorite matches from uh CM Punk and John Cena. But the fact that he chose that one, of course, I forgot that was in Houston. I think that's the match where he uh hit John Cena with the tombstone pile driver. It was well not a tombstone pile driver, but it was just a pile driver at the time. And they put on a clinic in that match. That match was fire too. For it to be on television, they they cooked. So I do remember that him CM Punk hitting John Cena with a with a pile driver was wild. I just forgot that was in Houston. Um, like easily, I think our best televised match. We might have had better matches like on house shows. I I don't know, um, but that is also that's my flu match. That's like Jordan's flu yeah, game. Okay. I, oh. was, I was sick and boy was I sick and tired at that point. <laughs> uh, so that is like the essence of CM Punk at that moment. Like hurt, tired, pissed off, you know, yeah. shit on his shoulder. And me and John went out there and it was just planets aligned and it was magic, right? Talk about going out there and you know, if I could ever say that I had a, a perfect match, that would probably be it. Okay. And I'm talking like, you know, like lead up, story, character stuff for both guys, action, crowd, being able to manipulate the crowd how you wanted, listening to them, like everything. And I, I got to give a shout out to, you know, Michael Cole on commentary too, because mm, he's been the voice of so many epic moments in my career mm. and this is the match where i hit the pile driver on john oh, oh yeah, yeah you know what i mean like okay that, so we hadn't seen that in yeah, decades yeah. on right wwe TV. right so yeah yeah bro that shit was kind of fire bro i'm not gonna lie to you him hitting that pile driver on john cena i was like Whoa, what the f it was it was just a out of nowhere moment it was so dope they they left it all out in the ring boy Woo! oh so, again like that that's the first match uh gosh thanks tj <laughs> yeah You've gone and upset well, i told him i was gonna ask him the hard hitting question it's, 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 it's a end. ridiculous thing to say after sitting here with you two gentlemen to and, and talking for so long to say i don't like talking about myself <laughs> um but yeah trying to pick from my catalog um i would put and again 
all these different factors. I've had good matches in front of bad crowds. Mm. I've had bad matches in front of good crowds. So I would disqualify certain matches based on like those criteria. But like as close to perfect as you can possibly get, I would put. CM Punk versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Oh, I think that's, that's that was a good match. That was a that was a it goes under the radar, but that was a good match. The feud leading up to it was pretty good. CM Punk was in his bag as a dastardly heel. I, I think this is right around the time uh, when uh, uh, Paul Barrett had passed away. He had, uh, Pat had died recently, right around that time, and they kind of used his passing as a angle with CM Punk, because CM Punk had to earn, um, it was implicated that, you know, his, Paul Bear's ashes were in the urn, and y'all remember that, that, uh, uh, I believe it was the episode of Raw where CM Punk had attacked The Undertaker, and then he just poured out the ashes of Paul Bear implied all over the Undertaker, like that was some good heel heat, good character work, and it was a it was a fire match and very enjoyable match that goes under the radar. Like they they put on a good match. That's that a good stressful. one. That was a great one. Yeah, and see, and and these are all around the same time too. Okay, you know, so could possibly be like the zenith of my in ring career. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I still like to think I'm operating at a pretty high level. Indeed. Um, Meavers Brock, Staples Center. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one. Another classic. Another classic. Boy, that match was good. The story between Paul Heyman turning on uh, CM Punk and CM Punk essentially being the underdog, going against the beast himself, Brock Lesnar. This was, that's a good, that was, that was another great match. Great match. Yeah. I was there. That's what's up. <laughs> Staples, what's up. bro. Those yeah, are the I, think, I think those three are, are pretty, pretty, this, this is a pretty good list. All right, we'll start with those three, and if you change your mind, we'll have somebody we'll just switch them out. New yeah, just text new me. It's like, what a, what a, you know, like, how fortunate I am, though. Like, you know, like, there's, there's matches I've had with Rey Mysterio that, I Incredible. could, you know, put in there. Uh -huh. and Joe had. Yeah, jeez. I like. I, I'm just talking about like WWE yeah. stuff, but yeah, me and Joe too. Uh -huh. That could. That that's easily like number four. That's, you we'll know, we'll make it five. Yeah, yeah. we'll oh, make it five. five. Yeah, I want to so get a Joe. Either hard, Joe hard to do. Hard yeah. to do. And again, well, especially with your catalog, yeah, it's right. a humbling question because it makes me go, "Oh man, yeah, I, I did. I did, you did good. some stuff. I did yeah. good. Yeah, you definitely did for sure. I'm definitely gonna probably check out the rest of that interview. Uh. Is is definitely dope to uh you know kind of get uh a little bit more insight on CM Punk and his career because you know he don't really do too many interviews often or podcasts often so I'm definitely probably gonna uh go ahead and probably check out the rest of it uh off camera but hey man comment down low down below let me know what's your favorite CM Punk match of all time for me for me. It's, it's probably still going to be John Cena, CM Punk, Money in the Bank, 2011. It's the the match, the feud that brought me back to enjoying wrestling. Uh, this was right before the summer of Punk. This was right after the infamous pipe bomb. That, bro, that atmosphere in that crowd in Chicago was deafening. It was, ah, it was beautiful. They put on a clinic. That match was WrestleMania worthy. That's how good the atmosphere, everything involved in that match was perfect. Picture perfect. All the way to him blowing the kiss to Vince McMahon as he leaves with the WWE Championship. Perfect, bro. It's, my, it's literally my favorite match from him. Now, recently, the Drew CM Punk Hell in a Cell, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's 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 creeping up there, bro. That's but it's that's gonna be a classic. That's a classic Hell in a Cell match. You can go back and watch it and enjoy. That feud was fantastic too. It may be creeping its way up there, bro. Definitely. So y'all let me know y'all favorite CM Punk match of 
of all time even if it wasn't in wwe and if, if i want to bring up aew shit bro mjf and cm punk uh, i mean what that <laughs> they just they knocked it out the park like man they they had some man my favorite feud in aew is cm punk versus mjf i think it was like a a dog that like dog collar match fucking chef's kiss beautiful beautiful stuff but i appreciate all love sport road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace